Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and welcome to part five of Surviving Mars. Uh, we are starting to run low on stuff. Now, we could actually buy ourselves another rocket. We have the money. Uh, how much does a rocket cost? I think it costs like 3,000. I'm worried about push. Do I want to? No, I don't want to spend 3,000 on that. I will try to figure out how to keep everyone alive. So we are actually increasing the amount of stored water. So what we should send over on the next launch is... Oh, what's going on here? Uh, stored concrete. We have problems with storing all this. Oh, yeah. That's probably fine. Let's designate some more storage here for this. Vehicle battery low. Okay, better watch out for that. Concrete. There you go. We need more of that. So which vehicle battery is low? Not you. Not you. You, maybe. That's right. Once you're up to 30... The colonists are on the brink of dehydration. What? I... We need to figure out something quick before they die. Oh my god! Water is a vital fluid which sustains all life except for the ones that don't. The human body requires a constant access to fresh, drinkable water and quickly deteriorates when none is present. Thus, the extraction of water is one of our utmost priorities. Okay. <laughs> Connect the dome or filled water towers to supply... Oh my! Okay. Um, this is actually... The dome is surprised, right? Do I need to build a building to actually do this? Let's just check. There's no thing that actually offer water, right? I don't think so. Space bar, dining. The space bar offers drinking, right? Which should help with food, right? Electronic store. This one. Relaxation, relaxation, rel yeah, it, no, it, it is literally, the problem is that our, few, our, uh, our water supply is just getting very low. So we just got to let this, the colony balance out and then hopefully we can send that rocket back. Now I'm wondering, yeah, this, I told this to... Yeah, I wonder if there's a way for me to move fuel from this. Okay, you gonna drop your metals here. Now the next thing is I wonder if I can take fuel from this rocket to this rocket, because that might actually solve our problems, right? This is at 47. This is at 9. It puts us so close. Anomaly We're four analyzed. fuel units away from being able to send somebody, send this thing back. Okay, you are going to explore this anomaly, or whatever it is. Yeah, we have a water shortage, but I just... How do we... Uh, we... We need water here. Research complete. You know what? We could just shut this down temporarily. That might be the best thing to do. So we do have some food stockpiled, and that uses a lot of water. How do we, how much food? Oh, we only have five food. Uh, okay, you. Can you pick up... No, you can't pick up fuel. How do I transfer fuel to this rocket here? That could be a big problem. I think I should turn this thing back on. Because we're going to run out of food very quickly. <laughs> this is, the colony only shows four food in total. And that's sitting at the grocer's. Oh, wait, there's five food there. But you, at least our stored water is actually rising. So that means that we're not using as much as we expect. So if I turn this back on? I don't know. So it uses 0.6 water, right? So I guess during the day we have a surplus of 0.4 water and then at night we're losing it. 
we just don't have a way to get into this thing and make it happen. Uh, you know what I should do though is I should build a clinic or something to help them with their, you know, issues lacking water. That'll stop them feeling too sick. Playground, school, open your gym, infirmary. There we go. Put you there. That'll help you. Breakthrough discovered. Great, we've got autonomous hubs. Not sure what that means. Core metal. Oh, yeah, somewhere around here. Live from Mars, social. This will give us PR. Not that useful. Factory amp. Compact passenger module. That lets me carry more. More of these. Why am I getting so many engineering? interesting and the soil adaptation they say once you grow somewhere crop somewhere you've officially colonized it there we go gonna add that hydroponics plant there RC transport harvests faster and gets more stuff drone hubs and oh that's a good one to have because we need to carry more drones wow this tech tree well, it's not really a tree this wall of tech is pretty darn impressive Yeah, so I started with the deep scanning technology, which is why I can see these deposits that I can't really exploit because I don't have the technology. Okay, you need to, once again, head back here and warm your cockles of your heart by straddling a power line. Okay, 6.6. .6. Yeah, so we've actually managed to get through this and we are hopefully producing food. Uh, we've got three food now. Ah, uh, you see I brought the colonists over a little too soon, obviously. Hmm. Is there any other place that has water? Deep water there. Gonna do some more scanning. Once this scans, these things will continue. This is a problem. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna manage to get through this if uh, without starving or killing my colonists. Maybe I should shrink this down right now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that might stop me getting fuel. So what does it say now? Uh, stored water is 8. Stored water is 7.6. We're running low on metals. Ah, we've... We've... The first Martian born. I'm not sure that is a good idea to bring a child into this world, is it? We're running low on polymers, so we're going to need to bring that over soon. Ugh! Ugh! And why is my... Why is my thing not actually producing any mineral, any things. What's going on here? I'm really confused, because I want those shiny shinies. Rare metals. Okay. No rare metals there. No rare metals in that deposit. I thought I saw rare metals earlier. I'm really confused. But you know what? That happens a lot because I'm one of these kind of people that can't keep up, keep up with you young kids in your video games these days. Okay, so it's decreasing at 0.3, but it's producing... We're producing... Uh, wait a second. We're producing something here. Uh, 12 productions worth of fuel. So we're so close. I think we might do it. If we just let this happen and then switch everything over, we should be able to get a supply of food and everything out to this space. I'm just wondering, I think I should take these people off of this because we're not really producing adequate amounts of uh, stuff here. You know what, you are... Current exports are forbidden. Building a new home oh. on an alien world 
That takes guts, to say the least. After all, purpose is the strongest long-term driver. Since arriving on Mars, Antoine Arnaud's enthusiasm has proven to be above average, even by founder norms, and the prodigious productivity displayed can be boiled down to one simple explanation. Antoine Arnaud really loves what Antoine, Antoine Arnaud is doing. He gets the enthusiast trait. That's the spirit! I have no idea milestone where he is. Achieved. What is the milestone? I'm really curious. Milestone! We produced food! Yes! So we should- we are actually producing food now, I guess. Cable fault reported. That's okay, we can deal with that. 48. This guy's getting- I wish this- Don't want you. Still waiting to refuel. Well, you know, there's not much I can do here. We've got enough power coming in. At least we're not Sector running out of scanned. oxygen, right? Anomaly found. Oxygen. We have a surplus of oxygen. So that's fine. You can investigate that now. I guess this actually has some stored metals, so it is producing something. You know what? We need a place to store our waste rock as well. Let's uh, set that up. Storage is like a dumping site. You can just like stick that stuff over there since there's not much use for it. So this guy's drones can actually handle moving anything out of this. Come on, Forty. Come on, get that fuel going in there. Four point six. Shrinking down. Who is low on power again? Uh oh, you need to come back. Oh, there we go. And you're actually, yeah, he's doing fine. Okay, so 50, 50, 50, oh man. See, I have enough fuel here, but he's Break refueling the wrong covered. one. How do I fix this darn thing? I've even set it to low priority. Decrease priority. No, yes, that's not good. But we found solient green, which is most definitely not made of people, right? Soil adapt. I don't know where that is. Okay. Productivity training. Systematic training. Scientists and botanists have 10% bonus. Increases research provided by sponsor. Two planets, one human race. Sharing knowledge. Coexisting within the solar system. Until the expanse comes along. Uh, we don't need more applicants, although that actually might be a good thing. What I'm looking for is new ways to improve my water. Factory upgrades. Surface heating. Is there something here? Low G. Actually, this, uh, do, 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 do. this one here might help. And this lets me uh, produce fuel from wait we've we've got all these surely is that even better oh rockets and shuttles require less fuel that might help okay we've got that close that down just checking that out remaining duration five days so we can't bring any more people of course until the founders tell us how awesome things are Okay, you can set automated mode and it'll go back and forth. Oh, look, we've got some exports. We can take that back to Earth and get some more money. So that should actually help with the business viability of this grand endeavor. Because making money, that's always nice. Of course, I wonder what kind of precious metals they would be looking for on the crust of Mars. Like... The thing is that a lot of finding metals and high concentration minerals and all that is really knowing 
the geology and the geology of Mars is going to be completely different. So, <laughs> you know, it might be easier to have someone on Earth uh, finding the stuff on Earth as opposed to sending someone to Mars. It's, it, it, you know, even if gold was all over Mars, it would still be stupidly expensive to bring it back. Uh oh, what's this saying? It's running out of water, so I am going to turn this off again. How close is it? 52! Ah, oh, this, this is wrong. I thought the current Second priority is down. low, but it is fueling faster. That is not great. How in God's name am I going to be able to keep this colony alive? At least they're not starving or whatever anymore. Uh, let's just check the total status. Look, we have food coming in, so at least we've dealt with that. We are running low on polymers. This colony, we don't want to have to buy another rocket. We can do that if necessary, but I think, I think we can make this work. We're just getting really close. Anyway, I'm going to break here and come back for episode 6 soon. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.